everybody. Let's learn about cars. We see cars on the roads everywhere. We travel to different places on cars. I know you all want to know more about cars. Here we have taken the good old American car Ford Mustang. Take a look at this car. There are several models in this car and we have chosen to show you just one of them. Let's separate the parts of this car. That's the main body of the car. All parts are attached to this main body. The most important part of a car is its engine. Let's take a look at the engine. We have different types of engines, but they all do the same function. They are used to move the car in different directions at different speeds. Take a look at the wheels. The engines make the wheels to move. If you need to stop the wheels, you need brakes. Take a look. For a smooth ride of the car, the wheels are connected with a spring mechanism known as suspension. Usually, but not in all cars, the back side of the car has a separate space called the trunk. You keep large size belongings in the trunk. Let's look at the inside of the car. There are seats for us to sit comfortably when we ride. To change the direction of the car, we have a circular part called the steering. To increase the speed, the driver will need to press the accelerator. If the driver wants to stop or reduce the speed of the car quickly, the driver presses the brake pedal. There's a gear that helps when you change the speed or direction. The gear and its mechanism are connected to the wheels. We see car doors that can swing at the sides to help people enter and exit the car comfortably. Let's put these parts back on and assemble the car. Well, we have a car again. Let's take the car for a test drive around. Hope you liked it. Mr. Hobster! Welcome everybody. Today we'll look at airplanes. Airplanes fly in the sky. It's the fastest mode of transport. If we have to travel to far off places, we need airplanes to reach our place in the quickest time. Do you know the parts of the airplane? Let's take a look. That's the main body of the airplane. This is where the pilot, crew and the passengers sit. The main body is connected to all the other important parts of the airplane. Let's look at the engine next. These are turbo engines. The engines help the plane move and fly in the sky. The engines move and provide the forward thrust and the upward lift for the plane to move front and up. The engines are attached to the wings. The wing is usually the place where the fuel tank is located. So, all the jet fuel used for the engine will be in the wings. This is the tail fin of the airplane. Just like a fish, we use the word fin. The tail fins are used to ensure stability of the plane. Let's look at the wheels. When the airplane is on the ground, you will see the wheels of the airplane. The wheels are connected to the landing gear. When the airplane is about to reach the ground, the wheels come out and is used for the airplane to move on the ground. The pilot has several systems that are used to control the airplane's movement as well as make announcements to the passengers. Let's assemble this plane. Let's join the engines to the wings. 
Let's join the wing assembly to the main body. Let's join the train fins to the main body. Let's join the wheels now. That's it. We have a fully assembled plane. This is a passenger plane. Military planes are very different to a passenger plane. That's for another day. Let's see our plane fly in the sky. Hope you liked it.